All right, sending Mbappe right there. Yeah, let's do some fake shots. And Mbappe takes the shot. De Jong on the rebound. And finally, we get the goal we desperately needed. And yeah, there we go, guys. Right, so 4,536 Spain masks accumulated right here. And you guys know what this means. We're ready to claim this 97 rated center mid over here. Yeah. So, I missed a couple days of grinding, but so uh, I had to sacrifice a few gem packs. But there we go. There it is. 97 rated Saul is here, guys. So, he is gonna be automatically into our main squad. So, in this episode, we're gonna test out this 97 rated card and let's see if he's worthy of taking the place of 95 rated Dion. Also, something to be very stoked of is the fact that Sergio Ramos is the new player of the month. So, it's finally someone in La Liga, and it's finally someone that I can use and put into my squad. So, literally, no hesitation when he was in the shop. I literally just picked him up and just and just literally leveled up his skill boost. Because holding is the best skill boost long term. Yeah, maybe we'll test him out in the Masquerade versus Attack games. Yeah, let's see how well he's actually going to be performing. Yeah, we're going to have some highlights on... Depends how many matches we are going to be able to play. Yeah. Alright, so far in this match, we've never seen Saul. So, it looks like he's never going to make an appearance in this match. So, what a shame this is. But, you know, picking up the win. Alright, this match is going to be... A very interesting one so it's gonna be um same distribution of chances because it's only a plus one minus one overall difference so yeah but i'm facing keppa who's basically pretty short uh i can't deduce that he's gonna be the most he's gonna be the relatively inferior goalkeeper we're gonna face out of the two but you know it's definitely really interesting to try out like just look at that man usually courtois or donnarumma would have made those saves yeah, absolutely ridiculous, man. <laughs> wow, Sal is just literally invisible. Just look, man. There, there. I don't see him in the front pitch, man. I don't see him. There's no chances on him. Like, literally, that's the most awkward thing. Like, wow, when I'm testing a new player, EA just does it to me like that? I don't know, man. A few moments later. Wow. No footage of Saul whatsoever even though we won this game but this game was pretty terrible because I was trying to find Saul and he was nowhere to be seen nowhere to be found my players couldn't even find him I don't even know what's happening to Saul like seriously man so I believe that the only alternative we have is head-to-head -head gameplay so let's see if Saul is actually really good in uh head-to-head -head. let's see Alright, Saul, Zidane, Mane, Mane gives a cheek, and what a nice dribbling from Mane right there to give us the equalizer right there. Alright, Saul's bringing the ball forward, and Mane feeds the pass right there, I mean gets fed on the pass, and there we go guys, Mane once again, and yeah, I don't... I don't see any contribution in Saul just yet, but some interplay from Zidane and Main. I mean Zidane and Manny. All right, Saul, nice pass to Manny. Manny, all right, we got a corner. Okay, so I kind of um, lost possession over there with a clumsy feed. Maybe we'll see some of Sergio Ramos. What? Okay, okay, now now I'm, I can't even test my players right now, okay? You guys are seeing this, right? You guys are seeing this, right? So, clearly, my ball was tapped to Sergio Ramos, and he just evaded the ball. What? Yeah, I was pretty sure De Jong's debut was very, very great. And now we've got this Pat guy who, who are actually using a very cheap squad. And he's been and he's gone to FIFA Masters. I don't know if he used that squad to grind up, but that is very impressive. So yeah, this game actually doesn't count, and because he rage quit early on, so pretty much explained the scoring. Sal did score actually, but you know it doesn't count against this team. So yeah, let's move on to the next game. 
All right, next match we go and okay, 106, 159. So, looking like this team, I don't know a hybrid of EPL and Serie A. I don't even know. Yeah, but you know, we're gonna give more opportunities to Sal. We're gonna see how well he's doing. I don't even know where Sal is. Let's see. Sal must be somewhere. Must be somewhere in the field. I don't even know where he is. I can't find him yet, and I lost possession already. So yeah. All right. Nice tackling right here. Come on, we gotta find Sal. Yes. Let's go. Oh, Sal. Let's go. What an assist right there. <laughs> yeah. Found Zidane, and Zidane just literally just didn't even use half power. Not even a half power shot. And he just literally just tips it over Adrian right there. There we go, guys. That is how you equalize right there. So, Sal with an assist. Okay. Things are looking pretty good for him now. What is Sal's skill move? Oh, it's the heel to heel. Okay. Wow. Do you see that? Oh my gosh, Sal just wrecked the heck out of Sing Maximo right there. You guys saw it. <laughs> Sing Maximo just rolled down to the ground right there. Okay, okay. All right, last match of today's episode. Let's see if Sal can make a more promising performance in this match. Hopefully we do because, okay, so we're now facing off against a legendary Legendary free or possibly I mean legendary one or possibly FIFA champion Player right here. So yeah, very interesting Let's see so Nice pass to Mane. Oh my god. His defense is absolutely empty right there. So is gonna score guys Let's freaking go baby. So is scoring After that really nice pass to Mane and Mane is just literally just Saw Saul running, decides to give him the chance, and of course, Saul doesn't miss it. Let's go! Come on, finally a goal. I mean, a legit goal for Saul, right? Back to Saul again. Whoa. Whoa, I was surprised that Saul didn't even get marked right there. Wow, that was a very great finesse shot from distance, yo. From distance, yo. Dude. Dude, that was clean, man. That was clean. Keppa really got assassinated right there. Keppa got assassinated, man. Alright, Saul. Nice pass to Mane. Could this be an assist? Right there, in front of your eyes. Finally, Saul is making his appearance, but only against the FIFA champion. And, yeah, made an assist against... Um, both FIFA champion player and a FIFA master player. So, wow. There we go, guys. So we can cover up our humiliating defense over there. And I can't I still can't explain it though. So something gone wrong with Saul in the first attack gameplay. But anyways, I would say that he might have proved himself to be quite promising. So he's got assists, he's got goals. And by the way, he's proved himself with better shooting than De Jong, because De Jong is more like a CDM rather than a CM. So I think for now, it's not his performance that's making me keeping him, it's just the overall that's making me keeping him. But in the long term, when we have enough coins, enough XP to get our players to 100 overall, I think De Jong, or another better center mid, is gonna replace them. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's episode, hope you guys enjoyed it, stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!